Hey guys, this is Kalina, loving Hip Hop Atlanta season four. You already know where I'm from, so I don't even gotta tell you. You're watching Stuff Fly People Like TV. You know that. You know what? I used to wanna be trying to take over the world, but right now, I'm just trying to put everything in perspective. Like, you know, where I wanna be in the next five years, what kind of music do I really wanna put out? You know, in the beginning it was, of course, like, you know, dreamy and bossy and, you know, just like on top of the world type of uh, Grace Jones inspired, you know, very strong. And right now in my life, I'm very vulnerable. So, you know, I've been, and, and even as, as a writer, I've been writing for like, you know, Monica and, you know, Prince Royce and um, Tanache on her new project. And just writing with like some up and coming artists that I really just believe are in the same place as me. And you know, living life too, working on Black Orchid has been um, very emotional, very challenging. And I started working on it about two years ago. Then I got pregnant in the process and I was like, you know what, it might be really cool to, you know, capture like all of these creative emotions through these nine, ten months that you just like kind of going up and down. And that was cool and I was going to put the album out and I said, you know what, maybe I should wait and just put out an EP. And it was rose water that just popped in my mind. It was like, I feel like I'm watering these seeds. and. Am I a rose or am I black orchid? I don't know, because I haven't blossomed yet, you know, and I'm trying to figure it out. So it's a cool prequel to Black Orchid. So the EP is Rose Water that I'm working on right now, and that's going to release August 10th. R&B never left. I think, I think that what happened was the R&B singers got caught up in wanting to do what hip-hop artists do, because hip-hop is cool. It's a lifestyle, right? And, um... I, I just feel when we lose sight, when we let people come in and, and kind of, you know, change our ideology about what we feel, right? It's like, you know, like you got to take your shirt off, you know, you got to be hood, you got to put leather on, you got to do this, you know, this is just how you're supposed to do it. That's what R&B kind of took a shift, right? Oh, if I'm soft and I'm singing about love and sucking toes, then you know, ain't nobody gonna respect me. But R. Kelly did it, Jodeci did it. Like, they, they that shit came across well to me. I'll ride to them <laughs> fuck with those niggas back in the day if I was one of those women. Like, that's that's it, and they was doing their thing. Music is music. Well, why are we even categorizing it? That's my thing, like, you know, it's all coming from the soul anyhow. If you write it and you're connected to it and you're speaking to God when you're doing it, you don't, after, you, after it's done and you say, I don't even know how I wrote this shit. That's rhythm and blues. Do we really care about Donny Hathaway? Do we really care about the Stevie Wonders? Like, why are we scared to say that we love, you know, um, Howlin' Wolf? Why are we scared to say that, you know, we love Sammy? Like, you know what I mean? And nobody's paying homage. And I, I wish that we would do more of that. But um, but go around, come around. I see a couple of people like Seven Streeter and Tinashe and you know different people really paying homage to the Janet Jacksons who's still doing it, and to the Madonnas who's still doing it, and even with the writers, you know, um, Neo. I mean, he, he's great, and Dream, he's great. Rico Love, my brother, he's great. So I just, I, it's it's just a weird space and time in in society in the world. Period. Kendrick Lamar. I think Kendrick is so smart. Um, David Banner. I think me and David Banner would do some cool stuff. And I say David Banner because he's so conscientious. He's so aware of what's going on. This shit is crazy. So like, you know, CeeLo Green. I would love to do something with CeeLo. Jasmine Sullivan is cool too. I would love to do something with Jasmine. And um, I mean, these are just all hopes, wishes, dreams, goals. I mean, shit, I'll do something with Louis Farrakhan right now. You know what I'm saying? He's working on the album. I think that'll be dope.